As reported on Russian social media on, Russia supplied Tajikistan with two divisions of the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system. This action is part of an ongoing effort to establish a unified air defense system among the member countries of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, CSTO. The disclosure came during a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and members of the Cabinet of Ministers, where he emphasized the need to complete the necessary procedures for deploying these systems in Tajikistan by the end of the year. President Putin conveyed that two divisions of the S-300 air defense systems, comprising eight launchers, have been delivered to Tajikistan. He expressed a readiness to continue and finalize this effort within the CSTO framework, stressing the importance of the government issuing a corresponding order by the end of the year. The establishment of a unified air defense system covering all CSTO countries is a key focus of the upcoming CSTO summit scheduled for Thursday, November 23, 2023, in Minsk. President Putin expressed contentment with the progress made, noting that discussions on security issues, including the establishment of the CSTO air defense system, formed a vital part of recent negotiations with Tajikistan's president, Emil Mali Rahman, during his Moscow visit. The S-300 anti-aircraft missile system, recognized for its capability to defend critical state facilities and armed forces, is designed to counter various airborne threats. These include modern and advanced aircraft, strategic cruise missiles, tactical and operational tactical ballistic missiles, as well as other aerial systems. The system's capabilities span the entire range of speeds of their combat use, even when faced with intense active and passive interference. A standard Russian division of the S-300 air defense system typically comprises 12 mobile missile defense launchers. Notably, the division's command post is equipped to manage all 12 launchers simultaneously, enhancing the system's coordination and responsiveness in the face of potential threats. The S-300P, known as the SA-10 Grumble in NATO terminology, is a long-range surface-to-air missile system developed and manufactured by the Russian company Almaz Anti. Initially introduced into Russian service in 1979, the S-300P has been deployed to various countries worldwide, including Algeria, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Bulgaria, China, Croatia, Cyprus, Greece, Hungary, Kazakhstan, Slovakia, Ukraine, and Vietnam, despite no longer being in production. The system demonstrates versatility through various adaptations to meet specific operational requirements. This includes naval versions, S-300F, tracked vehicle-mounted versions, S-300V, and truck-mounted versions, S-300PS, S-300PM, S-300PM1, S-300PM2, along with export versions, S-300PMU, S-300PMU1. S-300 PMU-2. Each variant offers distinct capabilities and ranges tailored to the specific needs of the user. The core component of the S-300P system is its missile launcher unit, featuring a trailer carrying four missile silos. The missile employed in the S-300P is the V-500-5V55K, a first-generation missile equipped with a single-stage solid rocket motor. Stored and launched from sealed cylindrical launch tubes or canisters, the missile incorporates solid-state electronics in its guidance system. With a maximum effective engagement range of 47 kilometers, it is capable of engaging targets at altitudes ranging from 100 to 30,000 meters. While the cost of an S-300 missile system can vary based on factors such as the specific variant, additional equipment, and customization, on average, a basic unit is estimated to range from $150 million to $300 million. It's crucial to note that this estimate does not encompass expenses related to personnel training, transportation, or maintenance. The cost of a single S-300 missile is reportedly around $2 million.